Good afternoon and happy belated Independence Day. This is Dr. Chris from Dennett Family Chiropractic and I'd like to talk to you today about empowering our kids. I heard a wonderful quote from Dr. Stephen Chernensky the other, uh, the other week and I want to share it with you. He said, as wonderful as science is, you are the miracle. And I can't think of a better lesson to teach our children. All day long, we are getting constantly bombarded with messages about how our bodies are flawed, how we need drugs and medicine to make it through life. Think about how disempowering this constant message is for our kids. They're saying that you need these pills, that your genetics are inherently flawed, and that without drugs, lotions, potions, you won't be happy. Now, ph pharmaceutical companies are smart. They want clients for life, and they're succeeding. Uh, according to the CDC, between 2011 and 2014, almost 25% of the population was taking three or more medications in the past 30 days. And that's just prescription medications. We're not counting over-the-counter stuff. And that was four years ago. I can't imagine that that number went down. Now, there is a time and a place for medicine. I'm not arguing that, but I think we can agree that we might be overdoing it a little bit. If my child has a symptom, I don't want his or her first thought to be, what should I take for this? I want them to think about the cause of the symptom. Um, do I have a stomach ache because of the bad food I put in my body? Do I have a headache because I need more water? Am I grumpy because I didn't sleep well last night? Am I coming down with an illness and, um, and do I need to rest? And if we as parents are constantly reaching for the medicine cabinet every time a symptom arises, it further emphasizes the messages that they're getting bombarded with, that my body is flawed and it needs something outside of it to heal. Um, my two cents, I want to make teenagers as easy as possible um, by teaching them to think and consider every single drug that they put in their body before it becomes a habit of taking something when they're not feeling perfect. If someone in our house is vomiting or has a fever, we first make sure that their nervous system is clear by, uh, by checking their spines and adjusting them if needed, and then giving them fluids and snuggles and letting their body do what it needs to do and rest and recover. My goal is to empower my kids um, to own what's happening with their bodies. Whenever Charlie falls or gets cut or anything, I always tell him, your body is smart, you, your body knows how to heal you. And I'm, I'm really trying to combat the mes uh, that message that he's being bombarded with that he is flawed. Um, and my message seems to be working. Um, the other day, Charlie had a cut on his foot, and he came running to me and said, Mom, look, my body's healing. So, so far, so good. I know I have an uphill battle ahead of me, but um, it seems to be working so far. I want our kids to know, as Dr. Chininsky said, that they are miracles and that their bodies can do amazing things like heal without any help. As always, we are here to help and serve you in any way we can. This is Dr. Chris from Dennett Family Chiropractic in Eastern Massachusetts, and I hope you make it a good week.